Okay, so hey, um, what is up you guys? It's Simon. Welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can see, uh, this week's video is a little different. It's gonna be a little more of a vloggish sort of style. Um, I thought to end out the year, the best thing that, uh, I wanted to do and that I thought would be really fun for you guys to watch since I've already done a redraw, I've already done, like, holiday stuff, I thought it would be fun to just do a nice chill um studio tour ish type video my studio is also my bedroom as like you can already tell because my pillows are peeking through but um i just thought it would be really fun to kind of show you guys around my room and how i store my art supplies and um what my desk looks like blah blah blah, blah all that little dorky stuff that um i like watching so, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you don't, I'll never do a studio tour again and I'm so sorry, but, uh, hopefully you do like this video. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to get started with isn't really going to be like a, too much of a tour. I just wanted to show you guys my bed because I got a bunch of new bedding for Christmas and it's really cute. And I, uh, one of the main reasons I actually asked for bedding for Christmas was because I, obviously my bed is in my room, it's my studio, and, uh, all of the stuff in my bed was kind of making me like really sad and I was like uh maybe if I like make my room more um interesting looking I'll have like a little bit more of a source of inspiration so slapped on a uh headboard that I just got a bunch of new bedding and a million pillows for my husband to hate me with because he absolutely can't stand pillows I like a million of them he likes a solid one or zero so he's gonna hate the fact that um somebody just gave me four pillows in addition to our already six so <laughs> that's great um, getting into my actual studio space now. This is my desk, so I'm gonna go sort of break things down one by one. We'll start with the top. Also, I built this desk myself, as you can tell from that gap in the desk. I It was $99 from Walmart. It was a piece of crap, but it's holding together, and I'm proud of it, and it looks a little wonky. Please don't bully me, but uh, yeah, that's that's my desk. So, at the very top, we have Naruto and Sasuke. Y'all know how much I love them. I literally made a print of them, and my friend got me that um, from Wish for Christmas last year. It actually holds my engagement ring, because um, why not? put my ring on Sasuke because I love him. <laughs> so then we have some random paintbrushes, my microphone for videos, some candles because I'm obsessed with candles, uh, washi tape. I don't remember what this is. I think it's extra nibs for my uh, tablet pen, some more washi tape, um, some succulents and a snake plant, but this is fake if you can't tell. And then I just have some random signs and then a candle and my... Um, what is that called? I think it's like a Fuji film, like a Polaroid camera. I, I like Polaroids, I think they're cute. So the next thing we have is this middle section here, and this is where I keep all of my Sharpies, my Bic pens, and also um, fine liners that are colored. They're not the best fine liners in the world, I've talked about them before, they're those Papermate fine liners. They're really nice if you're just doing line art, but they bleed like crazy if you put anything on top of them, so I would not recommend. But uh, if you're putting them on top of something else, they're awesome. Um, there's also this Hello Cup back here that holds all of my cords for things like my microphone, um, my headphones, um, if I have any other type of cord that isn't like a phone charger, if it's related to any sort of filming, it goes straight straight into that cup all wrapped up so that I don't lose track of it. I also code things with this washi tape so I know like, oh, like this love tape, that's my microphone and stuff like that so I don't get the cords mixed up and I know which cord is which. So the next thing I have, uh, um, this is my uh, light box, I think. Um, I forgot what the word was. I'm pretty sure it's like a light box. This is a paper cutter that makes me so angry. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick. So this is very efficient as a paper cutter. Clearly it has little sharpie bits. It does its job, right? But you'll notice the ruler is backwards. I cannot measure anything with this. I can't. I can't because I flip it over. You can't read that. It's like illegible. 
and upside down because it's facing this way when I'm chopping stuff. So I don't know what to do with it. It gets on my nerves. I hate it. I always have to measure things out with a separate ruler beforehand and it's very annoying, but it does work to cut paper. So it's a little less organized now, but all that's left is just this XB pen glove, an SD card reader, some USBs, just random items like my wrist brace, Apple pencil, my glasses, my tripod, just things like that, that uh, help me film or that I need not too often, but still have to have on standby so that I don't have to get up and get them all of the time and figure out where they are because I do need them more than I need some of my other stuff that I'll show you later. So this next thing, I oh, I almost turned you guys portrait. That would have been disgusting. So I guess I, I have an L-shaped desk. So this is about as close to my Copic case as you're gonna get. But um, this is a Copic case that my husband built me and it is the best thing ever. It holds so, so, so many markers. Um, I actually have a smaller one that he built me beforehand, but then it was my birthday. So I got more and they couldn't fit. So he built me another one and he is the sweetest guy in the world for that. I love him so much. He literally did such a good job. I'm literally obsessed with this and I can like organize it by color and it's just so pleasing to look at. I really, really like it. I'm super proud of him and I'm super like proud to have it in my little office. I really love that so, so much. So the bottom row, um, this is like an L-shaped desk. So I'm going to do my best to try and film it. But this is my um, desktop. It is a hunk of junk. Um, it's part of the reason why I don't film too many videos in Paint Tool Sci because my tablet, for some reason, when I first got it, uh, I think one or two years ago, it worked completely fine with my laptop. And then as soon as I hooked it up to this desktop, it stopped working with my laptop. So that was very frustrating. I can only film, or not film, I can only, uh, use my XP pen tablet with this desktop and it's very slow because as soon as soon as I got it that Christmas day I downloaded side 2 and it had a virus on it so that is why I suggested to you in my video do not torrent things or buy them or not buy them do not torrent things or download them from sketchy websites on youtube unless it's like from your friend or something and you know it doesn't have a virus on it or unless you have a very good virus software but i also would recommend just buying it support creators do it just buy Sai. it's not that expensive anyways <laughs> so uh yeah this has a virus on it i have done everything in my entire life to try and remove the virus and i am too pop Ugh. wow i'm too poor for antivirus software and to pay yearly for that sort of thing because i'm still working on trying to make this my full-time job so it is very hard for me to afford things that are year-round <laughs> so i don't have any way to get that off so it's very slow and you guys don't get um side videos that often but i'm hoping that's gonna change in the new year potentially <laughs> but we'll see so the next thing i have is my google mini my mom just got me this for christmas and i love him very much um you guys saw that little comic i made where <laughs> i uh i didn't know what to draw so i just asked him what i should draw and he actually gave me something i didn't think that was gonna happen so goodbye art block google home has saved me so uh there's just some little fake flowers here another candle my xp pen tablet the love of my life he's so talented i love him very much he works very well and um, that's pretty much it for that side of the desk. So into the L, it's not much of an L since it has that curve, but it is sort of like an L shape. So I just have, this is my alarm clock. He's also my phone charger. He's cute. There's not that much to talk about with him because he doesn't help me do art, but he is on my desk so there's that that's not in the right spot so <laughs> this is my laptop this is what i edit on since it is much much faster obviously than my desktop and then there's my ipad on top y'all know when an ipad is you've seen me use it a million times so let's get into my dresser Okay, so this is going to be the last area for our studio tour. Um, first off, do not grill me for these Italia plushies because they are 10 years old and um, it's not my favorite anime anymore. Okay, you guys are going to see some stuff. Um, or actually, as this goes up, you will have already seen 
some stuff from years past because I did the decade, uh, well I haven't done the decade challenge yet, but I did show you guys like my art versus the beginning of the decade and the end of the day decade and the beginning of the decade stuff has a lot of Italian it's very horrible I'm so sorry for that but um I did meet my husband through Italia I was cosplay this is an awkward story I was cosplaying Japan and my friend screamed at um, a group of other Italia cosplayers and my husband my future husband was one of them because I was too scared to talk to them. So thank God for my friend actually for doing that and allowing me to meet the love of my life and my very best friend. But yeah, I'm not super into Italia anymore, but those do hold some extreme sentimental value for me because if it weren't for that dorky little anime, I would have never met my husband. So I'm eternally grateful for that and I can't bring myself to get rid of them. <laughs> that was sappy. Oh my god. Okay, so the rest of this stuff is just junk, essentially uh, stuff that I stick up here if I don't know what to do with it. Also, I apologize for my hands being dirty. I uh, did a scheduling thing last night. I have a whiteboard with a bunch of um, wet erase markers, so that's why my hands are so much uh, dirtier than they would be if I used dry erase markers because it ain't coming off. It's very annoying. I'm so, I'm so sorry if I keep rambling in this video. Obviously, I'm not used to doing vlogs or like live type things. I like to do voiceovers so that when I mess up, I can uh, go over it. But yeah, <laughs> um, so anyway, this is just junk or stuff I haven't gotten to yet and will hope to get to eventually. I have a video planned for her, but I'm scared because she's an oil painting and I've only ever done one oil painting in my life, so I'm really not ready. But let's get into my drawers. So I apologize for this one being messy. When I originally cleared out this drawer, uh, it was very organized. I had a bunch of like makeup and just junk in it a few months ago. And then I was like, I'm going to do an overhaul of this dresser, turn it into something that will make me more productive. And that's what I did. So it was like all these paints were standing up and they looked very nice. But now uh, I I'd be getting in here. So um, <laughs> it's a little messy, but I've got a ton of things. I've got some fabric scissors from when I used to cosplay and I still use them to cut paper even though I shouldn't I have some more scissors back here a lot of lead um, definitely a ton of acrylic paint um, this is a very dirty paint palette it's one of these like clip-on ones so that oh I have to unclip the sides too what am I doing it's uh, one of these clip off ones so there's a ton of paint in here and it's really messy and really gross 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 and I'll close that later when I have both of my hands so, um, but yeah, there's just a bunch of mix match stuff in here, but all stuff that is art related. So paint, erasers, hot glue guns, uh, lead, um, scissors and all that good stuff. And that is it for the top. So the next drawer, I actually can't open all of the way because it is actually, um, a bunch of my sketchbooks and my canvases so it's I think it's stuck on a sketchbook right now and it's not really too interesting to dig out um, a bunch of blank canvases and sketchbooks full of art you've already seen but that's essentially what this drawer is for there's also a rock lee painted by my husband sneaking out here and uh, that's a little scary looking so let's close this right away <laughs> So the next drawer, I don't know if this is art related actually. Oh yes it is. Okay. So these are my miscellaneous supplies that I do not use often but use occasionally that I wanted to keep together. So I have, uh, oh sorry hiccup. I have some mild liners here in a bunch of different colors that I got um, a, a little while back when they were first starting to get popular. I was like I want them and so I grabbed every single color. Um, there's also some Crayola Super Tips. I think these are just some generic, like, um, watercolor uh, markers. And then I have the acrylic pouring stuff. Another old canvas since this one was starting to get full. This little tin here is a heart that is full of um, calligraphy pen tips that's probably as old as I am. A little sketchbook my husband got for me and one that he made for me and one that is um, just old. <laughs> I think I already mentioned that it's in there because I can't fit it. And then uh, just some um, like rubber bands and binder clips and uh, paper clips that I got for the convention to help me hold up my stuff. 
So this next drawer is not art related, but it is fun. It's just a bunch of electronics and a bill pro blah, 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 blah. wow, I can't talk. A bill plushie that I actually um, sewed myself. It looks like crap, but there it is. There's also some Benadryl in there for some reason. <laughs> um, I think that was when I was cleaning up last night and I was just like, just toss something somewhere. So yeah, that's in there. <laughs> um, there's also a Wii U because I like to play Zelda sometimes. So there is that. And this last drawer is where, uh, it's essentially a junk drawer. It's got an old notebook that I think was supposed to be for Japanese, like, learning, and then I th didn't do that. Um, this piece of paper, I think, is, I think it's the ukulele cord to Boys Will Be Bugs. Let me see. No, it's... Death Cab for Cutie, okay, yep, that's a song. I love that song, that's embarrassing. Um, there's also a book that I use to write down ukulele chords. I watch a lot of the ukulele teacher, still only know how to play one song because I have little hands and I can't do so many of the chords. And I had a guitar and I got rid of my guitar. I sold it this year because I was like, I can't play this guitar, my hands are too small. And then I was like, oh, I should play ukulele because it's like, most of the songs you can play on guitar, you can also play on ukulele at a different, um, what is it? Uh, not, not a different key. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, but, uh, I, I still can't play ukulele because I can't bar any frets because my hands are too small. The only thing I can actually bar a fret for is violin, so that's disheartening. But uh, yeah, it's essentially just junk. There's some wigs from cosplaying, a Polaroid, um, I think that's a bar of soap that's wrapped up probably from a hotel or something, and an old mannequin that is broken. But that is it. I'm sorry if that made any of you dizzy. Um, that is it for our little studio tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any tips on how I can improve, maybe if uh, my studio changes anytime soon, how I can make this more entertaining, or if it was entertaining, let me know what your favorite part was so I can do more of that um, next time. And I will see you guys uh, next... Sorry, I'm looking at my schedule because actually, um, it's not a surprise anymore, but it is a surprise at the time that I'm filming this video. I'm going back to two videos a week because I think I can do it this year. So, um, I'm looking for where this video goes up. It's going up on the 28th, so I will actually see you guys next Wednesday? I'm so sorry if it's not Wednesday. I love you guys, <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Bye.